गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आर यू फाइन ओके आई थिंक सो आई आल्सो फाइन सो आई थिंक यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन वाइटिंग अबाउट नोइंग समथिंग अबाउट असाइनमेंट राइटिंग राइट द प्रीवियस डे आई टोल्ड यू दैट आई टॉक अबाउट राइटिंग असाइनमेंट्स द फॉलोइंग डे <clears throat> so today i would like to talk, talk about writing assignments you know and you have already got your assignments of sec of the second week and these assignments of the second week is very important because here in this week you have to write an assignment uh on a topic uh of english so it's very important to know how to write an assignment in english and how you will write your assignment of the second week uh, on english this is very important you know and my dear students you have to be careful about writing assignment because maybe i don't know we don't know in future these assignments may be so much valuable for you so from the very beginning of writing assignments you have to be conscious of this you have to be very much careful these assignments will be a documents for your performance even the assessments can be assessed can be evaluated for your acs examinations so you have to be very much serious about writing assignments all assignments of all subjects should be taken seriously not only english but all other assignments any anyway, i will talk about writing assignments uh on english you know what you will do in writing assignment how to write assignments that is very important especially how to write in english and as uh, lecturer in english and you know we two teachers are here uh mr ujjal kumar haldar and i and i mohammad habibullah haldar um are the two lecturers in english there is no other teacher in the department of english government sahradi college therefore uh, i would like to give instructions uh instructions regarding writing assignments especially english assignments how you will write english assignments i will talk about today dear students you have already got the topic and if you have studied the instructions given by our authority you have got some points uh, it is available in the internet that is if you uh, go to the website of a directorate of secondary and higher education you'll find it it's in popularly known as maushi and even in the in the college in our college website you'll get it and if you want to collect manual copies you may collect the manual copies from the department of english government sahradi college anyway you have already got ideas assignment i would like to talk about this uh, assignment first then i'll see i'll show you how the format of writing assignments in english you know topic and learning outcome assignment first on is it see you have to write an assignment assignment on what you have to write an assignment on on a story what is there any story in your english for today in your prescribed book i mean in your textbook have you found any stories okay there are two popular two popular stories in your book 
on his balance in between Bengal and India, Somerset Mom. So, and the unit, unit 13, in unit 13, the title to the unit is Food Adulteration. If you study unit 13, title to the uh, uh, unit is Food Adulteration. Here, you will find Here in this unit, you will find a story. The name of the story is The Lansom. So, <clears throat> the Lansom. This is one of the two stories. I have already mentioned that there are two stories, two famous stories in your textbook. One is the Lansom, written by William Somerset Maugham. So, if you have studied the story, the Lansom, you may write about that very story. There is another story, photograph. If you have studied that very story, photograph, you may write about this story. <clears throat> uh, it, there is a unit, uh, name of the unit is, the title to the unit is Human Relationships. If you have English for today, please find out the textbook and look at the title to the unit is, look at the title to the unit, Human Relationships and lesson 3 of the unit, Photograph. This uh, photo, uh, the there is a story in this in this lesson, you know. So, this is also a very interesting story photograph. If you have studied this story photograph, you may talk about this. So you will select these two one of the two stories from your textbook. But if you are not interested to write about any of these two stories of your textbook, you may write about any Bengali history you have read. If you think that I have read these two stories but I am not interested in writing about these two stories, you may write about any Bengali stories. Even any other English history if you have read. So there is no obligation obligation that you, you need to write about the stories uh, in your textbook so the if uh, imagine you have selected that you you, you, you like to write about the story the lansom what would be included in your uh, writing you know already the range is given right within 200 and 200 to 250 words. You have to write 200 to 250 words. You know, writing in 200, uh, writing in between 200, uh, 225 words is not difficult. It is, in fact, uh, like a, la a long paragraph. If you write uh, in, uh, in your syllabus, there is um, a topic paragraph writing, and you are asked to write paragraphs in 200 words. So, assignment writing, you know, uh, if you write in between 200 and 250 words, uh, two or three pages are enough. So you need not write many pages, you know, because already the word limitation is given. It should be not your your 
uh, assembly must not exceed 250 watts and must not be below 200 watts. So, you have to be careful about this. If you write your assignment in 300 watts or 400 watts, it, it will mean that you haven't studied your instructions. So, again, if you write uh, in less than 200 watts, it will also mean that you haven't followed the instructions. So, you have to follow the instructions. Then, what you will write in the story? This is very important, you know, my dear students. Imagine, suppose you have studied the Lansom, the story, the Lansom, very good, you have studied it. What you will write about the story? You have to give a brief summary of the story. You have to give a brief summary of the story. And giving a brief summary is in fact, here you, sir, you see, uh, steps and instructions are scope. That is what you will write here. If you look at the instructions, write the summary of the story, focus on plot characters in 5 to 8 sentences. So, after completing reading the story, for example, the Lansom, you have to summarize the story in, uh, in not more than 8 uh, sentences and not less than 5 sentences. That is, uh, within 8 sentences you have to summarize. What you will include in the summary? There will be plot. Plot, you know, the, the structure of the story, the design of the story is called plot. Just you have to give the outline. Here, uh, in short, if I like to tell what is a plot, just nothing but the outline of the story. You have studied, you have studied the full story. Just in writing summary, you have to give a brief summary. And in the brief summary, what you will write? Just the outline of the studies. Outline of the story you have to include. And this outline of the story is called plot, you know. So, the brief summary will include the plot of the story. It means that it will talk about the outline of the story. Then, uh, there is another term you see, you have to talk about the characters. When you write, when you give the outline of the story, you have to talk about the characters of the story. Who are the main or major characters in the story? For, for example, in the Lansom, the story in the Lansom, two major characters are the lady guest, the woman, who is invited by the writer, the writer and the, that is the narrator of the story the, and the narrator is supposed to be the writer. So the narrator or the writer of the story and the woman, the lady guest is the other uh, character of the story. So two major characters in the story, the Lansom, they are the narrator or the writer we call and the other is the lady guest, the woman. So these, you have to mention the characters, these two characters in your writing. So when the teachers will evaluate your writing, assess your writing, they examine your writing, they will see whether you have uh, masterfully or perfectly given the brief summary of the story and in your summary if you have mentioned the main characters. So you have to be careful about this. The other point is that write what you liked and did not like about the history. So you have given the summary. You have given the summary and in the summary you have mentioned the main characters. Very good. The next point is that after writing the summary, you have to mention what you have liked in the story. If you have liked anything in the story, you have to mention it. Or if you have disliked anything in the story, 
you have to mention the dislikes. So maybe maybe some points you have liked and there are some points that you have disliked. You have you can mention both your likes and dislikes. And if you think that I like everything of the story, you may write your likes only. But if you think that I did disliked everything of the story, okay, no matter, you can mention your disliking dislikes only. But you have to mention whether you have liked or you disliked. You cannot say that I have no feelings. I haven't liked and I haven't disliked. I am neutral. No, there is no neutral position. You have to either you have to like or you have to dislike, or you may do this that some points I have liked and some points I haven't liked. Okay, very good. Uh, then finally, you have to make a comment that is called a concluding statement. You have to give your own view. In the concluding statement, as it is a story, you have a view. You have to tell something about the whole story. The concluding statement will make a comment about the total story. You have to do this. And the other thing is that all students will do. All students will write an assignment. They will submit their assignments. When your teachers will examine your assignments, what they will see, what they will observe or investigate. Number one, they will see the organization of the study. That is organization of your assignment. If you have written your assignment in a very well organized way if you maintain a strong organization in your writing the teachers will give you excellent remarks so maintaining well organization that is your assignment must be well organized you cannot write scattered sentences the first sentence must have a connection with the second, second will have a third, third will have fifth. In which way you have to maintain a cause and effect and sequential relationship among the sentences that in English language we call cohesion and coherence. All sentences should be organized maintaining cohesion and coherence. That is, sentences will not be isolated sentences, rather all the sentences will be connected sentences. One sentence will have good connection with the previous sentence and the following sentence. And every assignment there will be a beginning, there will be a middle and there will be an end, you know. So in your assignment, it would be well organized. that it should be beginning, middle, end. Sentences should be connected, not isolated sentences. Then use a wide range of vocabulary without repetition. So you have to be very careful about your diction. The vocabulary, the words you use in your assignment very consciously you have to write your assignments don't repeat it means that don't write the same word again and again try to use a wide range of words diversified words use phrases and idioms new words variety in your writing your sentence structure, if it would be better if you use different kinds of sentences. And if you don't follow the same or don't write the same words again and again. So you have to avoid repetition in writing your assignments. If you avoid repetition in vocabulary, 
if you maintain well organization in your writing you'll get excellent remarks you know and these remarks are important you know uj wide range of structures efficiently wide range of structure means wide different kinds of sentences your some sentences will be complex some sentence will be simple some will be complex uh, compound you know so huge variety of uh, different kinds of structure and a uh, language language should be at the same time your language should be very much lucid and uh, I mean uh, lucid and uh, what I, I mean uh, that is very smooth writing the readers will feel uh, 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 smoothness when they uh, uh, will find smoothness when they read your assignment you know and you see presenting opinion you know so I have already mentioned that you have read a story and you have to give your own opinion you have to give critical appreciation critical appreciation means you have to analyze this story critically just you can say um, the Lansen is a fantastic story no when you say the Lansen is a fantastic story you have to put the causes you have to show the causes why you mentioned the Lansen is a fantastic story you see so you have to give your own opinion very logically and if you see that photograph is a very foul story you have to show the causes why you are calling photograph a very foul story it's not a very good history you see if you say it's a brilliant history photograph is a very brilliant history you have to mention the causes why you call photograph a very brilliant history you see so these are the things you have to be very much careful about when you write some names especially some names uh, on the topics of English you see if you your thesis your examiners will put will give remarks based on your presentation of this assignment you see okay this uh, you know again one thing is that when you write your summary again I like to mention that in your summary you must mention the main characters as well as the summary will contain the theme of the story you know every story has a theme main theme you know that we call main theme or gist of the story you have to give the main theme of the story as well as you have to mention the characters of the story in your sign uh, in your summary of the assignment you know now how you will write uh, the format of the assignment you see one very important thing is that when you in your writing if you mention the name of the story that is title to the story always put inside the title to the story inside in bracket commas for example you like to mention the title to the story in your writing you have to put inverted commas the lansom you see when you write the name or title to the story you see or photograph
if you don't give inverted commas you'll see that would be a mistake so whenever you mention title to the history you have to give it in no, don't underline it no underline is wrong there is a common tendency to put underline this is wrong in academic writing assignment writing assignment is very much academic you know in academic writing in case of short stories we do not put underline rather we give inverted commas in case of inverted commas you may give single comma or double comma putting single commas it's correct again double commas it's this system is also correct so no matter but maintain on principle when you give once double commas then follow this thing always give double commas and there are some other rules or guidelines regarding these commas i don't like to talk about in this level just in the in your writing just follow either give single commas or double commas okay on top of your again today i haven't mentioned the format because time is already uh, over so uh, next day i'll talk about the history and i'll give i i'll give a sim, uh, sample sample summary of the history next day and i'll give a sample how how you can summarize the history and how you can mention the characters of the history in the very brief summary and also the theme in five, uh, seven or eight sentences i'll show next day and how i'll show how to write the uh, cover page of the assignment and how you will uh, give the margin inside your assignment i'll talk about these things next day thank you very much my dear students hope to meet you again bye bye